Hello and welcome to Digital Goulash. My name is Chucky and today we're going to take a look at Photoshop Elements and adding some sun rays to a picture. As you can see there's some nice sun rays in this picture that I took out of the back of a C-130. Let me go ahead and turn the visibility layer off here so that you can see the original photo. As you can see it's still a pretty dramatic photo but as we add the sun's rays there it even becomes more dramatic. Maybe a little bit unrealistic. Let's go ahead and take a look at how I did this. Let me go ahead and trash that layer right there and start from the beginning. There is our original photo right there. I am going to add a layer by clicking on the dog ear icon. That's what I call it. That is your new layer icon right there. It's going to add a transparent layer right there. The next thing we're going to do is make sure that we have the default colors in our foreground and background palette. If they are not there, you can hit the D on the keyboard and that will load up white and black in our foreground and background. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to use a keyboard shortcut, Command Delete. And what that will do is that will load whatever it is in the background onto your new layer. For your PC people, you're going to use the Control Backspace. Now what we're going to do is go over to the filter and we are going to go to Render and we're going to Render Difference Clouds. And what that's going to do is give us a random black and white pattern that looks similar to clouds. Then using another filter, we're going to go to our infamous blur and we're going to choose radial blur. Now make sure that it is on zoom. I have mine on good, but you can put it on best. If you have a really fast processor, this does take a little bit of time. Slide the slider bar all the way over to 100% and make sure that you put the blur center wherever the sun is in your picture. Now mine is in the center just a little bit off to the left. So that's where I'm going to make sure that mine is. And of course my sun is just off the screen at the top of the picture. I'm going to select OK. Now the next trick I'm going to show you is a really cool trick because you're going to be able to see the changes as they happen. I'm going to go to the blending mode and change it from normal. And I'm going to go over to a nice one called soft light. And what that's going to do is it's going to show us where all those sun rays are. So it does look, um, I wouldn't say realistic, but it does look a little bit more dramatic. Now if I want to get some of that random cloudiness out of it, I could go over here to where I chose filter. You notice that it put the last filter that I used. So if you click that again, it will just add the second radial blur to our picture and as you can see what's going to happen after my watch goes away it's going to straighten out some of these lines and give it a little less randomness there. Now if we want to have super dramatic pictures which are almost unbelievable we can go over to our enhance now make sure that you are on layer one and you're not on your background and we go over to adjust lighting we're going to adjust our levels here and what we're going to do is we're going to change our white set point. Now take a look at the picture and as you can see it's going to brighten up our picture right there. Drag this white set point all the way to where this little peak ends right there. And then grab your black point and this is where it starts to get dramatic. Now as you bring it over to the right it's going to give you a little bit more contrast. Take it as far to the right as you want to give it that really looking, uh, dramatic looking I should say, effect. Now of course this looks very unrealistic here. It does look kind of cool, but if we want to take that down I can always go over to the opacity slider and slide that back down. And you can just slide it down to your liking right there. Uh, maybe a little bit more. So that is how you get sun rays on a picture that already has a really nice sunset to make it a little bit more dramatic. This is Chucky from Digital Goulash. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my videos, give me a thumbs up, recommend my videos to your friends, and pass it along. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll get back to you. Cheers!